Check, check, check. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Dude and Boy, oh boy. <sighs> Start over. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Dude and welcome back to another episode of Live the Life. And I know last episode we ended off with me being on the Washington Capitals, but as you can see, the San Jose Sharks are now our team. Why is that? Well, apparently... Uh, NHL 14 does not want to save my live the life. <laughs> I, I I mean, I saved the game. Everything was good to go. And it went all the way back to when we were um, in the AHL or whatever the hell we were in. But uh, we're going to play this game. It's a preseason game. So hopefully we do well. And I'll see you guys when the puck drops. All right, guys. So here we go. I just want to let you know that if you don't want to see the preseason type games, that I'll be more than happy to simulate those. But let me know in the comments, and we will get that worked out. I'm pretty disappointed that it didn't save, but you know what? It is what it is, so we'll just run with it and keep the series going. But I like playing this uh, Live the Life stuff. I'm, I'm not the best goalie, as you guys already know from watching the other episodes, but we've already got a, a penalty kill, which is great. Good Lord. Already, right at the start of things. It's great. Great, 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 great. But anyway, I wanted to talk about a couple of things while we're doing this here. And uh, I watched a video the other day from a guy that you guys probably know, uh, Bacon Country. Uh, I'm sure you guys are well aware of him. And in his video, his latest video, he talked about, um, I'll put a link for his channel down in the description as well if you don't know who I'm talking about. He's a, he's a great YouTuber. He, he does trolling videos and stuff on NHL 14. It's hilarious. Great stuff. Just great, great stuff. And uh, th that that goal just went in shit and stuff damn it wasn't paying attention that's what i get but anyway he was talking about how the youtube community as far as the nhl well i shouldn't say youtube community the nhl community and um how they how they do the pack openings and whatnot but and he made a good point that everybody just wants to watch the pack openings and that's fine who's anybody to say what you were going to upload and what you're not going to upload and uh, he, he made some good points and i have to agree with him on a lot of it because Honestly, that's how I got my start, sort of, with NHL, was uh, doing pack openings because that's what a lot of you guys want to see this year. I know EA pushed it really hard uh, by giving you pucks when you play dropping games and kind of, you know, pushing you to go in there and spend those pucks on packs. And it, it's so far so good. I mean, he, he made a point about how the – and you can watch the video yourself, but he made a point about how um, – oh, it was, what was he talking about? Now I just lost my train of thought and I got another goal scored on me. <clears throat> yeah, he was talking about um, the packs. He was talking about the, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Shit. I hate when that happens. I got so caught up in what was going on in the game that I completely forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, it's a pretty good video. You guys should check it out. And, uh, you know, I agree about, I agree with a lot of what he says. And it makes a lot of sense. And, you know, I, I don't like when people talk about how people just open packs and that's all they do on their channels. It's whatever, man. Because, oh, that's what I was going to say. Then I got back. I got, I'm got. i back on track now. Sorry about that. Uh, he was talking about how if somebody goes to a, a, another NHLer's YouTube channel and they're watching their pack openings, they're on the right side of the screen. YouTube's going to suggest channels that they should check out that are similar to the ones that they're already on. And he's like, well, hell, he goes, if people are looking at those and they're seeing those, and he goes, my channel's probably going to pop up on there. And if they don't know about me, they're going to know about me. It's a great point. So personally, I have no problem with it because I'm a pack opener. I like to open packs and put them up on YouTube because you guys enjoy it. And that's what it's all about. That's, that's the reason why most YouTubers do what they do is because, you know, you guys enjoy the content that's being put out. And if you guys enjoy the pack openings, why the hell not? Why would we not put out packs? Uh, pack openings. I mean, it makes sense. Although I've spent quite a bit of freaking money on pack openings that I've gotten nothing in return off of, but that's okay. Uh, it's, it, it is what it is. And, and I would never give anybody a hard time about, um, fuck man, I'm getting destroyed right now. I would never give anybody a hard time about opening packs on their channel. I think it's fine. You know, it, it's, it's great. And more power to them, more people that we get in the NHL 14 community doing stuff like that, the better. It'll grow as a community. More people will become aware of the game and how fantastic it is. I'll tell you, that's another story. It was 2012 and I was um, 
I had a buddy in the Air Force that was playing hockey. Umanga, 84. I know you've probably heard him or have seen him in a couple of videos of mine. And he was telling me that I needed to play this game. He kept begging me to play it and harassing me about it. And I just was like, there's no way I'm playing this game. I don't want to. It's going to be stupid. I'm never going to like it. And he finally, he, I caved and I finally went out and bought the game. And I think it was, it was, I got it at GameStop used or something like that. Because I really didn't think I was going to be playing it. Um, but nothing against that. I mean, I buy used games all the time. It's, it's great. But, uh, you know, here I am now and uh, 14 still playing and I've played every single year thus far. So, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I really didn't think I'd be this, uh, this into it at this point. But anyway, back to the game. I'm done with my little rant. I'm sorry that I kind of like got a brain fart right there and didn't know what the hell I was talking about for a second. Um, so we're doing terrible. Um, really bad. A plus per position, C and D. Wow. So maybe we should actually start commentating on the game and, uh, and try to turn this thing around. Of course, we're not getting anything offensively right now, so it doesn't really help that that's happening. And those goals are kind of shitty. It's those, those goals that just come out of nowhere to, like, your left and your right. The first one, yeah, I should have stopped the first one. There's no reason why I shouldn't have stopped that first one. But the other two, if I – see – I can't even remember how the hell this, the two goals, the last two goals went in because I was talking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know that one of them was like a, uh, it was almost what you would call a quote glitch, quote goal that went in because, I, oh, there was nice. There's another glitch goal. And that's the other thing, too, the glitch goal thing. I mean, is it really a glitch goal? I mean, I know a lot of people say, yeah, hell yeah, it's a glitch goal. But is it or is it a snipe? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I personally, personally, I feel like it's not really a glitch. It's more of just like a snipe. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just, that's just my thoughts. Maybe it's because I snipe. I'm a sniper and I snipe the puck. You have to get to those dirty areas, as they call them. And you get in those dirty areas and you make a good shot and you snipe it, it's going to go in. So, I don't know, whatever. I just, I get tired of people bitching about Oh, glitch goal this, glitch goal that, and you know, step your game up. If you know they're going to shoot from that spot, take them out. And, of course, I'm talking about EASHL, and I'm talking about the dropping games and all that crap. So, But anyway, we need another goal right here. Definitely need another goal. And I think I might be done ranting. I don't know yet. And if something else pops up into my head, I'm going to start talking about it. And we draw another penalty. Yeah, because that's what we need right now is we need another penalty. Oh, my gosh. What a shit show for a game right now. Get out of here. Maybe I'll stop a couple of these. I didn't even look at the... Oh, f all, all over the place. <laughs> Maybe I'll stop a couple of these freaking goals. I didn't even look to see how many shots they had. Five on three now. Oh, yeah, because that's fun. Well, this will definitely test my goalie skills. It's not like I could stop one when it was freaking five on five. Well, that was a pretty good save. Yeah, I'm going to hold that. I'm just going to hold it. I probably need to change my pads. We might do it at the end of the episode. I don't know. So stick around. I might fiddle around with the pads a bit. And uh, I'm not going to do anything outlandish like pink and purple and freaking foo-foo colors and all that other crap. That's not my style. Come on, boys. Uh, can't clear it. That's great. That's great. That was a good save right there. Redeeming myself just a little bit. Rough first period. That's for sure. And I got a squeaky chair again. I'm going to have to get the WD-40 out. Son of a bitch. That's all right. So, yeah, the, the YouTube thing. I like doing YouTube. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't really... I mean, I used to... Like, when I first started doing YouTube, I was under the impression that I was getting on YouTube and I was going to get, like, a million subscribers right away. That, that, was, that was what I thought was going to happen. Or at least a couple thousand you know, I thought it was that easy. And it's like running a damn business. It, it honestly is. And, and, you know, it's it's so crazy because you have to go through and you edit these videos. And hats off to all the guys that do, like, the crazy edits and stuff. Because it, it does, it's not one of those things where you can sit down for, like, an, an hour. Ooh, wow, what a glove save. Where you can sit down for just, like, an hour and put together those really crazy videos. Maybe some people can. Maybe they're that efficient at it that they can do that. But me... I can't do that because I'm not that savvy with that type of uh, 
uh, computer software yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting to that point where it's not taking me as long to edit the videos, depending on what I want to do with the video though. Like if I want to add in a bunch of stuff like text and whatnot, I mean, I'm just starting to do that. I'm just starting to, uh, go in that direction, but you know, it's, it's not as easy as what you think. It really isn't. Uh, and I know somebody will say, Oh yeah, 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 it is. Well, you know what? It, it, maybe you can give me some pointers then. Leave a comment and you get in touch with me because I could definitely use some pointers on how to edit better and, uh, you know, make better videos. And I think I do a fairly decent job, but I know I could do better if I put a little bit more time into it. But life happens, man. Life happens. You know, I'm in the Air Force. I got a family. And I'm sure they would like to uh, like for me not to do YouTube because I spend a lot of time doing these videos. and Because, you know, you got to record them, then you got to edit them, and then... You know, you got to do all the tags and blah, 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 blah. It's just, you know, it's a bunch of stuff. So, <clears throat> I don't know. It, it's a lot of fun. I'm not going to quit doing YouTube or anything like that anytime soon. Uh, I really enjoy it. And I just, it, it's really hard finding a fan base, though. That's the other thing with YouTube that's really difficult. Because the, here's the thing is that you got all these guys. Like, take, for instance, uh, the Minecraft stuff. Just, just for an example. Or, hell, we could use YouTube if you want. But because there isn't that many... Big time NHL 14 YouTubers. I mean, there's a lot of guys out there that are well known for, you know, without a doubt. But as far as like, you know, subscribers and views and all that stuff, you don't see a lot of NHL 14 guys with even the Johnny Superb Man or, you know, 2BC, whatever. They don't have, I mean, they got views. They got a lot of views, but they don't have, if you go and watch some of those Minecraft guys, holy shit, man. I cannot believe, number one, how many subscribers they have. Number two, how many views they get on their videos. I mean, these guys upload videos and they're getting, you know, 100,000. What a shot. That was a great shot. Hundreds of thousands of views on Minecraft. Some stupid stuff, you know, running and doing a game or something with their buddies and, you know, talking about infant type commentary. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's great for them, but it's like, for instance, if I get on there and I put on a YouTube video of Minecraft, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, Minecraft shit in a box or something. Obviously, that's not a real thing, but it'll get 15 views or something like that. And, you know, that, that really has to do with the fact that, you know, I'm not that well known. But at the same time, if you look up and you type in Minecraft, there are pages upon pages of Minecraft videos out there. I mean, there's tons of them. It's just, it's insane. And you'll see multiple names come up of these YouTubers they're doing Minecraft videos, a lot of which no one's ever heard of, you know, and it's just, it, it's hard to build a, uh, a fan base off that because there's so many. I mean, you have to, I mean, wh what could you possibly do? Here, I'm going to lay this brick down, okay, and then I'm going to put this little thing on here, and then I'm going to put some of this red shit on it, and it's going to do this and pop up this, and then a chicken's going to, is going to shit a frog or so. I mean... You'd have to come out with some crazy ass shit to get your name out there to do something like that. It's just, you know, it's it's crazy. But NHL 14, the community is so small right now that it's a little bit easier to, and this brings me back to what I talked about initially with the pack openings. That is a great way for some of us guys that are new to the YouTube game, that are new to NHL 14 videos, to get our name out there. That's what it is. I would love... I would love to not have to do any more freaking pack openings because I'm running out of pucks, number one. Number two, I'm getting tired of spending my damn money. <laughs> but it's, it's a way for us to get our name out there, you know, because if you guys, if we never put those pack openings out, there's a good chance you'd never come by and, and check out our stuff. So let me pause on that real quick. Hopefully I can keep my train of thought. We did a lot better in that period, I have to say. Uh, we're at A plus, B minus, B plus. Let's look at the stats this time, though. And they've got 17 shots on goal. We've got 14. <laughs> Time on attack, we're beating them. Passing, they got us on that. Uh, winning a face-off. One-timers, they got two one-timers on me. Yikes. So, a much better period. Much better period. And, yes, I did lose my train of thought already. I already lost my train of thought of what I was talking about. Uh, but let's see if I can find it again. Uh, let's see, Havlat, uh, is gonna take a shot, oh, yeah, no, he's gonna skate around, oh, there's a shot, all right, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, back to the NHL 14 YouTubing people, uh, but, it, like I was saying, it, it's a way for us to get our name out there, and, you know, not a lot of people like it, but, oh, fuck, whatever, man, 
you know? It is what it is. And like I said, I would love to just do like this, and I would love to do like shootouts. Uh, I know shootouts were real big. I think it was last year shootouts were real big. I'm pretty sure it was. Like a lot of people wanted to watch shootouts and watch those crazy dangles and everything like that. But once you see all that stuff, you don't want to see it again. I mean, unless it's your favorite YouTuber that's doing, you know, NHL stuff, then yeah, you're going to watch it. But if you watch a new guy do it, it's like, nah, you know, he's mediocre when it comes to his commentary or, you know, he's just starting out. He's not as good as this guy is. So I'm not going to watch him anymore because he's, you know, I'm used to watching the other guy. I like the other guy's stuff better. And that's fine. But the pack openings give guys like me, guys like a couple of my a couple of my friends, a couple of my YouTube friends, a chance to kind of get our name out there. So make sure you guys check out that video because it's a great video. Uh, he, he talks about a lot of good stuff. Uh, hopefully I don't uh, have to come back and backtrack on what I said, but because I didn't <laughs> – I watched most of the video, but it was like 11 o'clock at night and I had to work at 7 o'clock in the morning. and I was like, man, I'm tired. I, I didn't get a chance to watch the rest of it, so – I don't know what he talks about at the very end of the video, so. <laughs> but he's got a lot of good stuff. You guys should check him out. He's a great guy. Uh, he actually helped me out with a lot of the stuff that I had going on with my Elgato when I first got it and uh, kind of gave me some pointers on what I could do and how to get it up and running. So make sure you check him out. Uh, what else? I think that's it. I don't know. If, I don't know. We need a goal. Please get a goal. Redeem me. I have been helping you guys out. You guys need to redeem me. You danky. Oh, boy. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing a GM mode, too. Might be uploaded first. It might be uploaded afterwards. I don't know yet. <laughs> I guess we'll, only time will tell. But I want to do that still, and uh, I want to get that uploaded. I haven't even, I haven't even recorded it yet. I'm kind of nervous about it because I really don't know, what the, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue what I'm doing. So th that, that right there is going to leave the comment section, like the biggest part of the whole video, like screw the video, leave me comments and tell me how to play the game or do the GM stuff. I mean, I'm sure it's not that difficult, but I'm, I'm not real. Like my favorite game. I love watching hockey, but I love watch, baseball, man. I love baseball and even doing trades and stuff like that in baseball when I was playing, uh, <clears throat> Oh, what's that great ass game for PlayStation? It's on PlayStation, not on Xbox. Uh, ba 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 ba. The Show. That's it. I love MLB The Show. It's a great game. I've owned every single one of them except for this year's because I just it was just the same stuff over and over again. Nah, I was kind of like, nah, I don't really want to deal with it. Uh, and plus, I was real excited about 14 for NHL. So I had my time occupied. But uh, I don't even know. Like when I did a GM on, um, on that game, I was like, man, some of the shit, I just don't know. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to, you know go about making trades and how do I know what a good trade is? And, you know, I, you can do it statistically by, oh, he's a, he's a 90 overall, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, but how is he playing? You know, kind of stuff like that. I just, <clears throat> I don't know. I, it'll, it'll come in time, I guess, but come on boys. We need a goal. And for me not to let anyone that just hit him in the face. That was awesome. So yeah, I think that's about it. I think I'm out of breath now. Really need to go. Broken stick. Broken stick. Costco stick. Pick it up. Get us a goal. Let's see it. Come on. Come on. So yeah, make sure you guys are searching around for those other guys that are doing pack openings. You know, you might find a, a, a diamond in the rough, as they say. But yeah, it's really important to get the community as strong as possible. Uh, it, it'll only help in the future. You know, to get the, the get it out there that playing NHL is fucking awesome and it's a lot of fun and everybody should play it you know it should be like madden if you ask me well that was a rough loss but you know what we redeemed ourselves in the second and third i feel like we did i feel like it was decent um we expect better from you we're not going to accept losing oh, go go milk a moose but cool we got some pucks sweet god knows i need those pucks but uh yeah let's take a look at the end game stats we ended up getting more shots on net than they did, which is good. We got a lot of shots in that third. Uh, let's see. They had 20 shots, three goals. That first goal should have not went in. Ah, boy, oh, boy. That's whatever. 
Let's see what we got here for our uh, messages and what the coach has to say. I'm sure it's nothing good. Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. You lost us the game. It's preseason. <laughs> and I am really upset that I can't play on Washington's team. And I can't continue that type of storyline. Uh, I mean, I guess it's really not a storyline, but it kind of is. So that kind of sucks. But I didn't want to start all over and, uh, and you know, do it all over again because that, that sucks too. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. We got a loss. All right. So, explanation of experience points. You're on thin ice. Excuse the pun. How did we not get... Four? We were supposed to get 40 XP that last game. How did we not reach that goal? One more mediocre effect and you won't be back in the preseason. Wow. Kind of rough on me there, coach. I didn't see how much XP we got in that last game, but... Obviously, it couldn't have been that good. Anyway, guys, I hope that I didn't burn your ear holes out with that rant about everything and anything. Um, I hope it all made sense. I know it was kind of here and there all over the place, but I had a lot on my mind and I kind of wanted to get off my chest. So I appreciate you guys watching. All you subscribers, those of you that aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It'd be awesome. You don't have to though. Just keep coming back and watching my stuff. I like that too. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment and tell me if you want to see full games or not. Because if you don't want to see full games, I can do like, you know, clips of the games or something. Yeah, clips. I'm going to do clips, like montages, and do multiple games. I don't care. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. I, I, both ways works for me. Either way, I got to play the damn game. So, uh, and let me know if you want me to simulate the preseason, because I'll do that as well. I don't have a problem with that, really. He, hell, the computer probably does a better job than I do anyway. I can almost guarantee that. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment and tell me how horrible I am or tell me how much you love me. That works too. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I got for you. Peace and love, baby. Check you next time.